Hi everyone, my name is Vace from RecordingStudio9.com and today I want to share an experience uh, and an experiment, an idea that I came with when one of my uh, old uh, audio interfaces, the uh, Motu Traveler Mac 1, it's quite an old unit, it's a Firewire unit, which is sitting right there, um, gave up from working. Um, what actually happened is that even though the system turns on, fires up, everything is, um, you know, audio wise, it's all correct. The Firewire interface, it just gave up. And uh, my uh, PC or my Mac would not recognize it anymore. Um, and then when I actually got in contact with the uh, suppliers for support and service to get it repaired, and unfortunately they said they no longer supported uh, it's it's too old and I think about a month before it actually uh, happened they actually stopped providing even parts for it so um, as far as the unit is concerned it just does not talk uh, to any PC through Firewire now one of the good thing with with, with that unit the uh, the Motu um, the um, Traveler, it's one of the initial ones which has uh, eight inputs and eight outputs and so on, word clock and all of those things. Um, one of the good things about it is that it can work independently without the firewire. So you can just power it up and use the knobs and the buttons uh, on the actual unit to do a whole heap of things um, uh, without as I mentioned, any connection to the PC. So you can run it as a standalone mixer, a rack unit mixer, which you can have, I think, four uh, microphones and four line inputs uh, and eight outputs and, and so on. And it, one other thing that it has is an, an ADAT input and output. So it's got optical, uh, digital, uh, communication to and from another device that you could have. So you could actually expand it to m different um, uh, options like buying the maybe Personas uh, Digimax D8 or FS and so on where it had just microphone inputs and ADAT outputs so you'd be able to extend it from 8 to 16 and so on. Um, so an idea prompt in my head to do my research and find out the possibility of using my the Motu Traveler to output any signal coming in to the ADAT and then by using um, optical connection to my Presonus Audio Box 1818 VSL which has ADAT input and output so fit the output of my um, traveler, the Moto traveler, into my audio box and be able to use its uh, mic inputs, line level inputs, and so on, and few other additional options that it's got in there, since I cannot use the firewire. So hence um, my experimentation started, and I read the manual and find out that it is possible. So the whole idea of this video clip is pretty much uh, directed to other people like myself who have the Moto Traveler and, uh, and their firewire has burnt out and they cannot work it through that anymore. Um, and I've I also discovered that there's quite a few out there, quite a few people out there who have this Motu Traveler um, and the firewire is burnt out um, and then it pretty much becomes useless. So this is for you guys to be able to use that and reuse your Motu uh, Traveler with any other audio interface which has um, ADAT input into it. So. Um, I will show you now how I've connected it and how enabled it uh, in um, Personas uh, VSL 
interface and then direct all of the um, inputs like mic and line levers from the motor traveler to my personas audio box to VSL and into my dough and I mean if you need to if you, if you really need to you can even direct any output from your dough to audio box a that output into the output of the motor but I'm not gonna go that far because I just want additional input in case I need it or if I like to use it uh, for any other purpose and so on so um, hopefully that explains the whole idea of this experiment and this trial so that uh, we are not wasting a beautiful and fantastic sounding um, audio interface like the Moto Traveler. I mean, it's, I guess the same thing will work with the Traveler uh, Mac 2 as well and any of the other uh, uh, Motos. Or, for that fact, as long as your audio interface, uh, a Firewire one or a USB one, which uh, no longer communicates with the PC because the firewire connection is burnt out and that's quite common um, you'll be able to use your um, ADAT digital uh, light pipe connection to uh, utilize it back again as long as it works um, independent of the USB now if you are, are um, an owner of the Moto Traveler um, either Mac 1 or Mac 2, they pretty much work the same way. You have your um, buttons here. So these buttons are actually, you know, for um, uh, microphone levels and so on. So this is your uh, mixer control buttons and options. And this is a display you got to look at and work out um, how to do it. So you can actually see what you're setting. And there's uh, lots of options. Uh, that you can uh, manipulate uh, just using those six buttons. They are actually buttons and rotary as well, so they, they serve multiple purpose for each button. Uh, if you want to know more about it, obviously if you are an owner, I would assume that you actually have a manual and you can read the manual on to how to operate it. But the whole idea is, what I wanted to do is to get all of my microphones and line level inputs, which is pretty much uh, the inputs 1 to 8 uh, to go into my ADAT uh, channels 1 to 8. Now uh, the motors have uh, up to this one has up to four mixes or four different buses and you can assign different levels and different outputs for each mix. It's pretty much like having uh, four different mixers in parallel to each other so you basically can assign input one that's the one that's just pretty much flashing there you can assign that uh, um, microphone so I can turn the trim volume up and down and as you can see um, you can assign that for mix one uh, to go to certain output and certain levels so you can assign all of the different levels different channels to go up to four different mixes and that's the, the analog mix gain for analog input one and you can turn it off that's what it is there now so it all turned off so you need to read the manual to how to work it up but now I will show you how I assign inputs one and two into a that output channel one and two um, three and four five and six seven and eight in two pairs so I press the mix button to, to take me into the menu and then one, two, three. I got to make sure that my optical in is ADAT and optical out is also ADAT. And then I flick. Now this is my bus output. Normally for mix one, normally it's be assigned to analog um, output. So we can uh, value so we can as you can see mix bus is there's it doesn't have any output or it just the phones analog one and two analog three and four analog five and six analog seven and eight so that's 
are the eight outputs. There's, you know, bus left and right going out. And it's got other different outputs as SPDIF or ADAT 1 and 2. And then by using the select option, I can switch to mix number 2. And now assign to 3 and 4 the same way you press the parameter, uh, the value, and you can assign it to 5 and 6 or 3 and 4 and 1 and 2. So I've assigned it 3 and 4. And when I actually go to mix bus number 3, ADAT 5 and 6, Mix number four goes eight to seven and eight. So basically, when we uh, come out of there, all I need to do is for mix one, turn on um, inputs, uh, come on, come back, there we go. Inputs one and two, see now it's on because the cursor has gone up. You can see how at the volume level is I can adjust the volume level, turn it on, and then I can select uh, the panning uh, for mix one, uh, and then cursor for the next channel, and turn it on by pressing it. So now microphone inputs one and two for mix one is turned on, which will go to ADAT uh, 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 one and two. And then, where are we? That's mix number two now. As you can see, one and two are turned off, so I can go to the next. Oops. Uh, the next one. Press it. Turn it on. Next one. Press it. Turn it on. Now three and four are turned on for mix bus two. So that you can see how it, it's all going to work. So for Mix bus, uh, hang on, that's the game. Here we go. Here we go back to one. So you can see microphone inputs one and two are turned on for mix bus one. For mix bus two, three and four is turned on. For mix bus three, um, we just move the cursor into turn on five and six. Hope you can actually see it. Um, um, in mix bus four, we go to the next cursor and turn microphone in, or line, you know, channel input seven and eight on. So this is what basically I have done. And um, so now that I've got this all set up, anything I plug in into um, uh, one and two is to mix one, and that will go to a that one and two. So later on, I will make the connection with the um, with the with the wire at the back of the unit and I will connect it uh, to the back of my um, the box uh, 1818 VSO and that should uh, through the USB should send the signal into my uh, my PC to give you a visual idea of how it's connected so that's the ADAT output of the Moto Traveler and that's actually connecting to the oops a bit hard to reach it right at the back to the um, the ADAT input of the 1818 VSO oh very tight in here okay now that we have the connection made um, we can actually see I have also a microphone connected and um, as I speak into it you will actually see how the volume is actually coming up here that's the channel one output if I switch a little bit that way uh, you can hear now coming up and I also have this slide here which is the a oops I gotta switch a bit more <laughs> uh, which is my ADAT signal as you can see it's flashing I should also mention that the uh, clock signal is 44.1 that I have selected. Um, now this unit can go up to 192 uh, kilohertz sampling rate, uh, but uh, at the moment it's on 44.1, just so that it easily matches with the audio box as well. So let's turn the volume up a little bit more. 
um, so we have a bit more signal coming through about um, yeah uh, the the uh, about 30 db now and that's uh, quite a good signal coming up now okay now i'm just going to move the camera on to the screen so as you can see the signal coming there and now i have my vsl connected and turned on and as you can see ADAT input 1 and 2 are coming up so I'm um, if I actually open my dough I'll be able to port any signal from ADAT 1 and 2 I have to apologize a little bit about the, um, the shaking of the camera but that's how that's the best I can explain at the moment Okay, the reason why we were actually getting um, the microphone input on channel 1 coming out of ADAT 1 and 2 is because of the channel's panning. And now, the change the panning of, uh, the ch uh, of the channel, we just select the rotary knob here, which is the parameter, and we twist it, and now we've got panning for mix 1. By pressing the value button, we can change it now. As you can see, it's an arrow pointing to the left. That means it's now uh, left channel. And then we can uh, move the cursor and by rotating that into the selection next one, when we press it, it actually goes to the hard right. So now we have left and right uh, channels. And we can do the same thing for uh, channel three and channel four. Um, and we can also go ahead with five and six, seven and eight. Now, one other option uh, while we're in this menu that I can explain is the um, is when we flip more, the pairing is a good option. Now, uh, in this module, five and six, seven and eight are line inputs. So most likely I'll be connecting, you know, keyboards and, you know, uh, and synthesizers and so on, which are stereo signal. So it'd be probably a good idea to pair them up. That means by adjusting uh, one volume knob, um, it will adjust both of them together. So we press the value button and now we get those square brackets, meaning those two are paired. And if we click those two, that means they are paired as well. Now we can go ahead and do one and two and three and four. But because 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 are actually microphone inputs, we want to be able to uh, pen them independently and, um, you know, not have, you know, have different volume settings as such. So now we should actually uh, have, uh, once we go back and we select, see now I can select 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 flash together, 7 and 8 flash together. So now that we've got that all worked out, let's have a look. We should be able to see now the microphone is only on A that one. So now input channel one from my Moto Traveler is going through the A that uh, light pipe to my uh, audio box 1818 VSL and through the VSL uh, is now I've got a that one signal going through and now I can record that signal uh, straight into my dough as um, as channel 9 10 11 12 respectively for a that one two and three and four so there we go just made a redundant unit back useful again